In today's video, we're diving deep into Pub Workspaces, a powerful feature introduced in Dart 3.6 that simplifies managing multiple Dart packages within a single repository. Think of it as a supercharged way to organize your code and boost your productivity. So, let's say you're working on a large project with several different parts. You might have a package for your user interface, another for business logic, and maybe even a separate package for data handling. Traditionally, you'd manage each of these packages as separate repositories. But with Pub Workspaces, you can bring them all together under a single roof, your monorepo. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, there are a few key advantages. First, it promotes code reusability. You can easily share code and utilities between your different packages, avoiding duplication and keeping things consistent. Second, it simplifies version control and makes it easier to track changes across the entire project. And finally, it helps you manage dependencies more effectively, ensuring that all your packages are using compatible versions of the same libraries. But like anything, there's a slight trade-off. Managing a large monorepo can introduce some complexity. You might have to deal with longer build times and potentially more intricate testing setups. So, how do we tackle these challenges and harness the power of pub workspaces? Let's break it down step by step. First, let me walk you through the project. So this is our main Flutter project. The main.dart file has some messages we are getting from different packages. Here we have a packages folder. Inside this folder, we have three packages, user interface, business logic, and data access. Each package has one simple class, and that is returning a simple string message. Each of these packages has its own pubspec.yaml file, defining its dependencies. If we run this, it looks like this, a screen with three messages from each package. Now, without pub workspaces, if we wanted to update a dependency for one of these packages, we'd have to navigate to that package's directory and run dart pub get individually. This can be tedious, especially with many packages. And what if different packages require different versions of the same dependency? This can lead to confusion and potential conflicts. Pub Workspaces solves these problems by introducing a shared dependency resolution. Instead of each package managing its own dependencies, they all share a common pool. This not only simplifies the process, but also helps prevent inconsistencies. Before we start implementing Workspace, I want you guys to notice that each package has its own pubspec.lock file, which will be removed automatically after we implement Workspace. To create a workspace, we start by adding a pubspec.yaml file at the root of our repository. This file serves as the central configuration for our workspace. Here, we specify the paths to our packages under the workspace key. Next, we need to modify the pubspec.yaml files within each of our packages. We need to ensure that their SDK constraint is at least 3.6.0 and add the following line to the environment section. This tells each package to use the shared dependency resolution defined at the root level. As I update this file, it automatically run pubget. Remember I told you that pubspec.lock file will be removed automatically once we implement this. The exciting part is we can run dart pubget from anywhere within our repository. Running this command creates a single pubspec.lock file at the root of our repository, capturing the resolved dependencies for all packages. It generates a shared package config.json file in Dart tool, which maps package names to their file locations. And finally, it removes any existing pubspec.lock and package config.json files within the individual package directories. And just like that, our workspace is set up. We now have a centralized and efficient way to manage dependencies across our entire project. Key points to consider in this implementation are the root pubspec.yaml file serves as the central configuration for the workspace. All packages within the workspace must have an SDK constraint of 3.6.0 or higher. Dart pubget performs the necessary actions to establish the workspace and resolve dependencies. But remember using a single shared resolution increases the risk of dependency conflicts. Since Dart doesn't allow multiple versions of the same package within a single application, if two packages require different versions of a particular dependency, it will result in a conflict. This risk, however, can be seen as a valuable feature. By forcing you to resolve dependency conflicts up front, you can identify and address compatibility issues early on. This proactive approach prevents potential problems that might arise later when you start using the packages together in your application. 
Let's talk about interdependencies. What if user interface and business logic both depends on data access? No problem. Within a workspace, if a package depends on another package within the same workspace, it automatically uses the local version. This ensures that all packages are using the correct and compatible versions of shared components. In this scenario of user interface and business logic, both depends on data access. When you run Dart pub get within the workspace, both user interface and business logic will automatically use the local version of data underscore access from within the workspace. Now, what happens when we want to publish one of our workspace packages like user interface to pub.dev? When consumed by another project, it will use the original source for its dependencies as a transitive dependency, ensuring compatibility with that external project's environment. Sometimes we might need to use a different version of a dependency for a specific package. This is where dependency overrides come in handy. We can achieve this in two ways. First way is within the package. We can add a dependency override section directly to the pubspec.yaml file of the package. In our user interface package, if we override the path provider dependency like this, then it will use version 2.1.4 of path provider instead of the version specified in the dependencies section. Second way is using pubspecoverrides.yaml. We can create a file named pubspecoverrides.yaml next to the package's pubspec.yaml. This file allows us to define overrides specifically for that package. If we add dependency override in both the files, then the override in the pubspec overrides.yaml file takes precedence. It's generally recommended to define overrides at the root pubspec.yaml level for better organization and to avoid potential conflicts. If we add path provider dependency in the root pubspec.yaml file, all packages within the workspace will use version 2.1.5 of path provider, unless a specific package has an override defined in its pubspec.yaml or pubspec overrides.yaml file. Now, Let's say we want to temporarily resolve a package outside the workspace. Perhaps we want to test it with a different set of dependencies. We can achieve this by creating a pubspec overrides.yaml file within the package's directory and simply removing the resolution, workspace line. This effectively isolates the package from the shared resolution, allowing it to resolve its dependencies independently. Now, if you run dart pub get within the package's slash user interface directory, the package will be resolved independently of the workspace. It will use its own dependencies section and create its own pubspec.lock file. This override is temporary. Once you remove the pubspec overrides.yaml file or restore the resolution, workspace setting, the package will revert to using the shared workspace resolution. This is a powerful tool for testing and troubleshooting specific packages within your workspace. Now let's have a look at a few commands we can use. Let's say we want to add a new dependency to our user interface package. We have two options. One is change directory. First, we navigate to the user interface directory, add the dependency using dart pub add, and then return to the root directory. Or we can use the C flag. This method is more concise and avoids the need to change directories. By using either of these methods, we can easily execute pub commands specifically within the desired package within our workspace. Finally, Let's see how to quickly list all the packages within our workspace. Simply run the command, dart pub workspace list. This will display a list of all the packages, making it easy to navigate and manage your project. All right, that's it for the video. I hope this comprehensive guide has given you a solid understanding of pub workspaces. This powerful feature can significantly streamline your dart development workflow and improve the overall maintainability of your projects.